Now, misconceptions about the connection between foot symptoms and liver health are common, leading many to overlook critical warning signs. Now, with our first sign indicative of liver health issues is swollen ankles and feet, also known as edema. It's important to note that the liver produces various proteins, including albumin, which help regulate fluid balance within blood vessels. In liver disease, the production of albumin drops, causing fluid to leak from the blood vessels into tissues. This leads to swelling, particularly in the legs, ankles, and feet due to gravity. So what you'll see is swelling or edema in the feet and ankles is typically persistent and may worsen by the end of the day or after prolonged periods of standing. Here, the swelling can be accompanied by discomfort and a feeling of heaviness. All right, next is red or spider-like veins, also known as spider angiomas. Basically, spider angiomas are caused by increased hormonal levels of estrogen, which is a common occurrence in liver disease due to impaired liver function. The liver normally helps to balance hormone levels, and when it's not functioning properly, hormone levels can become unregulated. So what we expect to see here are these spider-like blood vessels that can appear on the feet and other parts of the body. They are usually more noticeable and can be seen as red spots with radiating lines or tiny blood vessels that fade when pressed and quickly refill. Now for our third point, let's discuss yellow toenails or soles, also known as jaundice. So why does this happen? Well, let's just say that jaundice occurs when the liver cannot effectively process bilirubin. This is a yellow pigment found in the blood from the breakdown of red blood cells. Because the liver isn't functioning as it should, this leads to its buildup in the blood. This can cause yellow discoloration of the skin, eyes, and even nails. You can expect to see yellowing of the toenails and soles of the feet and can be accompanied by generalized jaundice. This symptom indicates significant liver dysfunction and should prompt immediate medical evaluation. Now, when it comes to dark urine and pale stools, we can expect these symptoms occur because of bile flow disruption. Dark urine results from excess bilirubin being excreted through the kidneys from excess in the blood due to the inability of a dysfunctional liver, while pale stools indicate a lack of bile pigments normally excreted into the intestines. And that's because a normal functioning liver would be able to break down bilirubin to be stored in the gallbladder as a dark yellow pigment known as bile to aid in fat digestion in the intestine. So dark urine and pale stools, often seen alongside foot symptoms, are significant indicators of liver dysfunction. They suggest problems with bile production or flow such as bile duct obstructions or severe liver disease. So drop us a like so we know that you are getting value. Okay, itching or pruritus, results from the buildup of bile salts in the bloodstream and skin. It's a common issue in liver disease when bile flow is obstructed or reduced. What we expect to see is that itching is often severe and persistent, especially in the palms and soles, including the feet. It can occur without a rash and be more pronounced at night, significantly affecting quality of life. Next up is clubbing of the toes. But what does this mean? Let's start by saying that clubbing is characterized by changes in the areas under and around the toenails, associated with chronic low oxygen levels in the blood. Liver diseases can lead to hypoxia, also known as low blood oxygen, thus contributing to clubbing. So what do you expect to see? Well, clubbing involves the thickening and widening of the toes and fingers, with nails becoming more curved and shiny. This condition is often associated with chronic liver conditions like cirrhosis and hepatitis. Bruising and bleeding is next on our list. The liver produces clotting factors which are necessary for blood coagulation. In liver disease, the production of these factors is impaired, leading to easy bruising and bleeding. You can see easy bruising on the feet and other areas, along with prolonged bleeding from minor cuts. These signs are indicative of reduced clotting factor production. This can be a significant indicator of advanced liver disease. Have you ever heard of palmar erythema? Here you see redness of the palms and sometimes the soles. It's linked to increased blood flow and hormonal imbalances caused by liver disease. Elevated estrogen levels due to impaired liver function contribute to this condition. Here's what you'll see. Palmar erythema presents as symmetric redness on the palms and can extend to the feet. It is often warm to the touch and can indicate underlying liver conditions, particularly cirrhosis. That being said, seeking a medical evaluation can facilitate early detection and treatment of liver diseases, improving overall health outcomes. Watch till the end for an important life-changing bonus tip because we believe in giving you the maximum value. 
So, what can you do to keep your liver in top shape? First, a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can make a world of difference. Avoid excessive alcohol consumption and be mindful of medications and supplements that can strain your liver. Regular exercise is also key. It helps maintain a healthy weight and reduces the risk of fatty liver disease. Staying hydrated and getting enough sleep are simple yet effective ways to support liver function. Don't forget about regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Early detection through routine blood tests can catch potential issues before they become serious. Lastly, consider incorporating liver-friendly foods like garlic, turmeric, green tea, and berries into your diet. These foods contain powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that can support liver health. And now, as promised, our bonus tip, if you made it this far with us. We want you to know that noticing any of these signs warrants further investigation by a healthcare provider. Here's what to expect during your medical evaluation. First, your medical history and physical examination lay the groundwork. This step is crucial to assess overall health and identify potential causes of your symptoms. Next, blood tests will be conducted, including liver function tests to measure levels of liver enzymes, bilirubin, and proteins. Following that, imaging studies such as ultrasound, Connecticut scan, or MRI will be used to visualize liver structure and identify any abnormalities. Later down the road, a biopsy or liver tissue sample might be taken. In some cases, a liver biopsy may be necessary to determine the extent of liver damage. Now that we know what to expect, the real question is, what are some preventive measures? This is important because prevention is better than cure. Let's consider the following. Healthy diet, moderate alcohol consumption, regular exercise, avoiding hepatotoxic substances, including certain medications and toxins known to harm the liver, Regular checkups, especially if you have risk factors for liver disease, such as a family history, obesity, diabetes, or high cholesterol. By understanding what to expect in a medical evaluation and taking proactive steps, you're investing in a healthier, happier future. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable health tips. Stay healthy and take care.